friends and welcome. I just got back from my 36 week prenatal appointment and oh my goodness, I cannot believe how close we are to being full term. I feel like that's really kicking my butt into gear a bit. And so today I want to spend some time continuing to nest, to organize, to get ready for baby boy's arrival. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna sit down as we write out a to-do list for the day because pregnancy has made me lose any form of coordination that I previously had. But as we start, I did just quickly want to thank Walmart for partnering with me on today's video chat more about them later but now let's make a plan for the day the first thing that i want to do is unbox and set up some of the final bits that i ordered to kind of round out our registry and i also want to set up our bassinet and kind of finish up the bedside nursery and once that's done i want to spend some time organizing the baby's dresser we set that up the other day but it's currently empty so i want to fill it up with all of our baby clothes we've got a whole bunch of stuff that i want to sanitize then tonight at i think it's 6 p.m i have the final week of my three week birth prep class so I'm going to take that and then during that class i think I think I might also spend some time just doing a little bit of postpartum food prep or at least kind of pulling together some recipes that I want to make that we can store in the freezer. So here's our little to-do list and I think that this will keep us busy all day, maybe even going into tomorrow, but let's get started now and see how much we're able to accomplish. Let's get started with doing a little unboxing setting things up. So as I'm preparing to enter my parenting era, I've been going through the process, just rounding out all of the things that we needed for the baby. And I've been gifted or thrifted a lot, which is so amazing. But there were kind of a few final holes that I needed to fill. So the other day I placed an order on Walmart for some of those items. And so figured we could spend some time just unboxing and setting those up together. So let's start with something I am extremely excited about. And that is this hatch rest. Also, shout out to Walmart's delivery times. I literally placed this order the other day and everything arrived so quickly. This is exciting. I've literally only heard good things about the hatch rest. Okay, how does this open? Christopher and I are big white noise people. We literally use white noise every single night to help us fall asleep. I've heard that can be really helpful for babies as well. And this is not only supposed to be a great sound machine, but also a nightlight, which can be really helpful for late night feeds. I think we might just set this up in our bedroom today, kind of have it as a part of our bedroom nursery setup and potentially even start using it before the baby comes, just so I can kind of get the hang of it. And just a couple of smaller things. I got this bath spout cover, which technically we won't need until our baby is a little bit older. He starts taking baths baths kind of outside of the little infant tub but I have the rest of this set like the little tub uh what the bath rinser and so I figured may as well round it out by getting this it's just a little cover that goes over your drain so that if the baby accidentally bonks their head against the drain they're not going to hurt themselves it's just so sweet and cute I also got an extra little diaper balm this is the earth mama one let's take off this little plastic bit. I already have a couple of these, but I figured it would be good to have a dedicated one of these for the diaper bag. That way it's just one less thing for me to remember to have to grab before heading out the door. And we've got a couple of bigger things. This is the Ubi Steel Diaper Pail. Okay, wait, I'm too short. I was kind of debating whether or not it would be worth it to get one of these, but after talking to several mom friends, they said it is a game changer when it comes to smell. It kind of sold me. So here it is. I just got the white because I figured it would just match with everything. What I really like about this one in particular is it takes regular like trash bags. So you don't have to go out and buy separate liners for it or anything like that. And first impressions, it's really easy to use. You can kind of lock it in place and unlock it so that your baby can't get into the diaper pail. And then to replace the liners, you just kind of open it up and it's really easy to get to. So think that this is going to work really well. Then the last thing that we got 
is a jogging stroller and we really needed a stroller of some kind it didn't need to be a jogging stroller but needed some kind of solution because our current stroller setup literally will only work until our baby grows out of his infant car seat and then at that point we won't be able to use the stroller setup that we have so knew that we needed a stroller and Christopher really wanted to get a jogging stroller so that we could just have the option of if he wants to take the baby for a run we want to go on a gentle hike something like that kind of have the flexibility to do so I ended up deciding on this Jeep turbo glide jogging stroller it has amazing reviews I really like the aesthetic of it and I think there's actually an adapter you can order too so that you can use it with an infant car seat when they're a bit more little and then when they're a bit older ready to face the world and kind of be front facing uh, you can just flip it to that really easily so let's open this thing up doesn't look too hard let's put this together shall we oh my goodness this is like already assembled basically yeah Well, this literally took less than five minutes to set up, but it looks awesome. Love the bicycle tires, the shade on this thing. Actually pops out even a little bit further. Then there's a little window so you can check in on the baby. This little parent setup is really nice too. I really like the handle, a little compartment here. So nice. So I think this is going to be a great kind of more versatile long-term option and I love how affordable it was too. So thank you again to Walmart for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. And if you are entering or you're in the midst of your parenting era, Walmart really is such a great option to find the pieces that you need, the things that you'll love at a great price. So if you're interested in anything that I shared today, I will have everything linked up for you in the description box below. But now let's head over to the nursery. I want to set up the hatch and then also our bassinet and kind of finalize our nursery setup. Okay, so this corner right here is where our little bedside nursery is going to be. The other day I put together a little postpartum cart, which think you'll probably see in an upcoming video but what I want to do right now is just to assemble our bassinet which I think we're just going to put right beside that for the time being then we'll probably move it closer once the baby comes and then also want to get this all set up I'm thinking it'll probably make the most sense just to have that on my nightstand. I think once those two things are assembled, we'll pretty much be good to go in here, which is great because if this baby does decide to come before 40 weeks, like this bedroom setup is really what I want to have in place before he comes. Everything else, it can wait if need be, but it would be great to have this ready. So let's set up this bassinet first. Okay, wait a little. Oh, and not take the tree out. How do they do that? Okay. There we go. Well, there we go. That was nice and easy to assemble. Definitely one of my better thrifted finds for the baby love the way that it looks in here i feel like it just seamlessly matches the aesthetic of the room which of course is not the purpose of a bassinet but always a nice bonus and little mattress in here it does feel quite comfortable so now let's get this hatch set up i think it's gonna make the most sense just to swap it out with this candle So 
it took me just a little while to figure out how to set this thing up and just how it works, all of that, but now that I understand it, I do feel like it's pretty straightforward and feel like this is going to be just so nice to have for late night feedings, but I think we'll even probably start using it now, you know, up until the baby comes. I mean, maybe not the nightlight feature, but I feel like at least the white noise. So I think at this point, we are pretty much all set up with our bedroom nursery. I think the last thing is I need to put a little crib sheet in the bassinet, but I still need to wash that actually. So that's the last thing, but this is looking so good. All ready for baby. So now I think I want to spend a bit of time setting up the dresser and our plan is for it to be kind of like a hybrid situation where it's half diapering supplies and just changing station and then also a place where we can store all of the baby's clothing. I think right now though I want to mostly focus on the clothing and just what's going to be in the drawers and then we'll focus on the diapering station probably on another day. We've got six pretty sizable drawers to work with here so I feel like we should have no problem fitting most if not all of the baby's clothes in here. I think I'm just gonna get started with playing around with everything a bit just seeing what I like where. I am planning on using these little drawer dividers that I picked up the other day to kind of add some additional organization to the space, but I think we just kind of have to start putting things in to the drawers and see kind of how it shakes out and what works best. I'm thinking it would probably make the most sense to turn at least one of these top drawers into a place where we can store extra diapers and wipes. So I think I might start there then put maybe newborn clothes in the other top drawer, then fill out the bottom ones. I'm looking out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend our day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front So got the first drawer done and I'm really liking this setup. I think the height of these little drawer dividers are perfect and I'm just using my little label maker to create labels so I can really easily just at a glance see what everything is. You don't know how much I want you Just looking at you makes my whole world spin You don't have to wake up yet Spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Kenny G saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone mm -hmm. Shut the lights, go in for a your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in front Pretty time consuming, but 
think at this point we've got most of the baby's clothes in these three drawers here. We'll say though that is kind of the one category of things that we definitely need to still continue to fill out in the next few months. I think we're probably okay for newborn and zero to three month outfits, sleepers, all of that, but we really don't have much when it comes to three to six months. And then again, you know, we're just lacking a lot when it comes to kind of some of those older, you know, months, six to nine months, nine to 12, all of that. So definitely going to continue building that out, but fortunately we should be set for right when he's born. There were a few items of clothing though that were just kind of a little bit bigger and chunkier that thought would be kind of hard to fold some outfits too so i think i'm just going to use i picked up a little pack of infant baby hangers the other day they're velvet and i think should do a pretty good job of holding up all of these items so i think we're just going to hang up some of the chunky items and that way I think it's just going to be a lot more convenient to get to them. Also, did find these little, what are they called? Kind of like clips. So we can have all of the outfits just on one hanger. That'll make organization a bit easier. So let's go ahead and hang out. It's literally just five or six things. But yeah, let's do that. And then we can fill out the bottom two drawers. Can't wait to see him in this fuzzy little bear outfit in the winter. So now let's tackle these remaining drawers. Alright, so we've got the dresser all set up. Let me take you on a quick tour of what we're looking at. So starting up top, this is where I've stored our diapering essentials. So we've just got some backup diapers, wipes, and then I also have just a few of our extra burp cloths over here. And then on this side, we've got all of our newborn clothing. So right here, we've got all of our newborn outfits and I've just got all of the sleepers at the front and then some of the outfits, onesies, all of that at the back. I've also got some of the things that will last us for multiple sizes and ages too. So I've got hats here, socks, some bibs, and then some of the shoes that I think He'll probably fit in the first six months, so it's actually only two pairs, but I think that'll be fine because it'll be summer, so I can't imagine that I'll want to have him in shoes all that much, especially since he won't be walking. And this is a entirely clothing little drawer here. So we've got the zero to three month sleepers here, zero to three month outfit. So definitely have the most zero to three month clothing. And we have just a tiny little section here for three to six month clothing. Definitely going to need to fill that out. And then over here, I've got kind of like six to 12 month clothing. So this kind of section is six to nine month and that, that's nine to 12. Then over here, we've got some swaddles. So these are just little swaddle blankets. And then we've got some like sleep sacks and things like that. And then down here on the bottom, we've got right here, crib sheets on the left, some blankets on the right. This is a really sweet handmade one that I cannot wait to use with them. Really, this is a National Parks one tool. I think it'll be so cool. And then in here, 
we've just got the play mat, which is pretty big, so decided to keep that the only thing in this one. I could totally see swapping out the play mat and probably the blankets too down the road, kind of as we have more clothes that we're wanting to put in here. But for now, since we don't have those clothing items yet, since we have the space, I figured it would just be a good spot to put them. And then of course, sometime in the next couple of weeks here, we will want to set up the diapering station, but I think we can go ahead and check that one off for now. So at this point, there are just a few things left on our list, but next one I want to do is to spend some time sterilizing everything that we need to for the baby. So I want to sterilize the pacifiers, all my pump parts, bottles, kind of all of that stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is just pop on a pot of water to boil. We'll do the boil for five minutes technique to sterilize everything. I think that's just going to be easiest. And yeah, should be pretty straightforward. And one of those like big things that I've kind of been putting off doing that we can cross off. You know, it's not like it's hard to do, it's just a bit of a pain. Then at six, my final childbirth prep class kicked off. So I attended that and during that class, I was actually able to do just a little bit of research on different postpartum meals that I want to have. I am going to be having a meal train that's being organized by a friend of mine. So I think we should be pretty well covered with meals for honestly, probably a month after the baby comes. So not trying to focus as much on getting those ready, more so just kind of getting a feel for what kind of meals that I want to receive because my friend said that I can kind of, you know, make some requests and people are more than happy to kind of, yeah, follow some general guidelines. So I was looking up some delicious like chicken pot pie, shepherd's pie recipes, soup stews, all of that. Definitely want to focus on having some warm, hearty meals, but then I think when it comes to breakfast and lunch foods, do want to do a little bit of personal prep for those, freeze some things. So I got started on that, made some blueberry muffins, which I froze so we can enjoy those after the baby comes and planning to prep some other breakfast and lunch recipes as well. Though, of course, we'll have to see how I'm feeling, how much I'm able to get done before baby gets here, but got lots and lots of good ideas. And if you do have any suggestions too, be sure to let me know what did you enjoy postpartum or if there's any specific recipes you'd recommend, be sure to let me know in the comments because I would love any suggestions or ideas for things that you liked. But I think that pretty much wraps up this nesting vlog. So I hope you enjoyed coming along as we continued with baby prep, got some big items checked off of my list. Still got a few weeks to go, but we are getting there. So as always friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.